Hi. If you have a sprinkler system in your home, at some point you've probably found out that you maybe did not properly isolate it and drain it throughout the winter and this gets damaged. You can call a plumber for them to do this for you, but it's going to cost you a lot of money to get this done. So today I'm going to show you how to do the replacement by yourself. Right, so today we're going to be replacing or repairing the uh, sprinkler system. If you look at this, I have the Febco 765-1 model. This was snapped off probably during the winter. Uh, we had some ice. Uh, I guess I didn't properly isolate this, so that happened. If you look at this, the bonnet is broken, but the puppet is still inside, so we're going to swap that out with a new one. This is a replacement kit that I got online. There you go. There's the bonnet and a new poppet that we're going to put in this uh, in this system. It's a little windy, so boxes are falling off. If you see here, the old housing on the bonnet cracked off and broke off, so you can undo this with your hands or if it's a little tight if you got some channel locks you could use them to get it out or you can grab this with pliers and, and turn and, and pull it out. Oh, one other important thing to mention when you pull this out make sure you take out this gasket sometimes it may be stuck around the ring here make sure you pull it out because the new one comes with that gasket also and pull out the poppet also so if you look at the assembly that's what it looks like on the inside so if I were to open up flow here, you're going to see water spilling all over this assembly. I'm going to avoid doing that now because I don't want to mess everywhere. So this is the assembly, the new bonnet uh, that's at the top with the poppet. So you can slide that in. All right. Make sure that the little metal piece on the bonnet slides down into the pop to the poppet. Screw it in place gradually. This came with a little grease so I applied it on the on the threads. You want to do this hand tight only. There you go, that's in. So one thing I did here that you shouldn't, when I did this assembly, I didn't take off the nut that came with the bonnet and poppet assembly off. Uh, you should take that off because you will need to replace the cap or you need to place the metal cap back on. If you remember at the beginning, I showed that to you. The cap goes right on there. It protects the entire assembly cap goes back right on there and the nut goes right on top of it and secures it in place so I'm just gonna tighten that because I need both hands and I'm using one to hold the camera and we can test it so now that's secured the cap is back on all right we can now check to see if this works now the way I my system is set up. I have a valve that I close there during the winter season, prevents water from coming in into the sprinkler system on this side. So I just open that up. If you notice, you see a little bit of water that's on the wall. That uh, happens to be because the water pressure rises up here, or as the water level rises up here, it pushes up against the bottom of the poppet, and the poppet pushes up into the bonnet assembly. So the little water that was above, that's what spilled out of here. So if you notice, I have no, no leakage. The system is now fixed. You see my valves, they're in line with the pipe, which means this is open, and that's also open. Now we've got a system fixed. Again, all the parts that I needed for, for this repair, you can buy them online or at your local um, hardware store. 
So next time you have a system like this that fails or breaks on you, simply make sure you check the model number for what you have, go online or go to your local hardware store, find the replacement parts. In my case, the replacement cost me about $26 online and I was able to get this done in that as little time as it took to shoot this video. And you can save yourself a whole bunch of money, much cheaper than calling out a plumber that's going to charge you about minimum $75 for a trip charge plus parts and labor. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and maybe in the future I'll make more as repairs come up. Thank you. Bye.